What's on everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing 10 Harry Potter facts that you probably didn't know. These are to do with the movies so it's not really book related however these are little things in the background and some bits throughout the clips that you wouldn't have known. I have written some down in my lovely Slytherin pad just so I don't ramble off like I did right there. So the first one we're going to do is number 10. Now these are in no particular order. So Helena Bonham, I think that's said correctly. Don't shoot me if not. Now she played Bellatrix and she has actually kept her teeth from the set. Now she said, I kept them because they're not going to fit anybody else. I keep them in a blue plastic thing in the bathroom and bring them out when I miss Bellatrix. Yeah, so that's just crazy to me. Like. I get it, but I wouldn't put them back on. I don't know, maybe I would, treasures. I can't really say what I would or wouldn't do, but it's still quite a weird and odd fact. Now number nine. Did you know Rupert Grint actually has arachnophobia? You heard me, he has arachnophobia. So in the second film, The Chamber of Secrets, when we go to see Aragog, that's not really acting. No, he's generally scared of this massive spider and honestly I don't blame him. I'm terrified of spiders and ugh, like, can you imagine he's like really young and you're just looking up and you see this big hairy spider like uh-uh, not my kind of thing. Number eight, all of the potions in the Harry Potter films where you see the cast drinking them, they're actually made from soup. Yep, soup. Now this kind of is, is very interesting, I didn't know this, I didn't know this, and this has taken me a lot of research to like get these in a lot of few years for some of them, some of them I already knew, some of them I didn't, but drinking soup, you can tell those faces when they drink it are probably literally real like, oh, and nasty. Number seven, so this is... <laughs> This is a really like hard one to find out and it is kind of to do with the books on this. This is the whole storyline. However, I just had to include this one because when I found this out and I was like, oh my God, this like has changed everything for me. So JK Rowling actually planned to kill off Arthur Weasley in the fifth film, The Order of the Phoenix, after his snake he got bitten by a snake. Now, the only reason she actually let him live was because he was too much of a good father figure around in the films and there wasn't many of that in there. So instead, what she did was Remus Lupin, who she planned to live, she killed him off. So Harry could obviously see a lot of lesson from it. And that's really sad. You know, I wouldn't want Arthur to die, but then I'm sad that Remus died and it's just sad to find that out, especially like, Remus is one of my favourite characters, so to find out he wasn't meant to be killed, oh, it just hurts my soul. So, number six. So this one, a lot of people do know, you know part of it, but maybe you don't know her reason behind it. So, in the films, Harry has his natural eyes, which are blue, whereas in the books, he has green eyes. Now, the reason that Harry has blue eyes is because he found out he was allergic to contact lenses. Now, in the first film, I believe it's when he's leaving Hogwarts on the Hogwarts Express, you can see his eyes are all watery. And that's actually from the contacts where they were trying to put it in. Because that was actually the first scene that they filmed. Which is quite like, you wouldn't think it, you know, that they would film that bit at the beginning but you can tell obviously like those tears are real he's just been trying to put contacts in his eyes and they wouldn't work and oh my eyes are watering even talking about it <laughs> number five Luna's radish earrings finally got it finally got it was actually made by her actor Ivana Ivana Lynch is that right? either way the, the earrings were handmade by her actor and that's like Wow. It, it just actually shocks me to think something so little detail in the film. And obviously a lot of it is done, but it's made by the 
person playing that, they felt such a deep connection that actually, do you know what, I want to put my own twist onto it, I want to bring it in. And it, it's just amazing, honestly, it's just amazing. Number four, now this is one that I found out recently, and I found it out through Facebook, and honestly, it was like the most shocking thing ever. So, you know, in the Philosopher's Stone, the very first film, we have lovely young Nibble, and he has just received a rememberable from his grandma. Now, in that kind of scene, he's like, oh, I can't remember what I've forgotten, though. And for years, years and years and years, I've never known what it is, until recently. Now, it was his robes. Yep his robes and by the robes I'm talking about his cloak so in the scene you can see that he has literally just like his jumper on whereas everyone else has the full cloak full 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 robes and that is what he's forgotten and oh my god it actually shocked me so bad when I heard it and I was like no <laughs> anyway on to number three so number three is actually a bit of a new one for me and I didn't know this um, mainly because I'm not very good with actors. So, Hero Fenez, I think that's said right, please don't shoot me, who we all see in The half Life Prince. He is actually Ralph's nephew. So if you don't understand what I mean by that, I'm gonna quickly sum it up. So the guy who plays Voldemort, his nephew plays younger Voldemort in the films. Damn. Like, I've never really noticed that they do kind of look alike until now. And it, I, I don't, it just gets me, it gets me, it gets me so bad. I was, uh, -uh. second in our list. Now this is something that I have spotted myself in the films and it's, it's quite shocking actually. So, we know the first scene when they all arrive into Hogwarts and the Philosopher's Stone and Hermione's talking to a young girl in the Great Hall. Now that young girl is actually Pansy Parkinson. Now, I came across this by accident. I believe I was looking up references of Pansy Parkinson and then I saw her younger photos and I was watching the film and I was like, hold on a minute. And it just, it, just, it honestly, it just it cracks me up. The thought, you know, Pansy Parkinson is a pure blood she becomes a deaf user in the end, I'm pretty sure. And she hates these muggleborns. Yet yeah, on her first day of Hogwarts, she's standing there talking to Hermione Granger, who is the biggest muggleborn of all and one of the brightest witches that we know. Number one on our last of this. Now, this is a really, really shocking one. So, for those of you who have read the books, you'll know a certain character is missing completely out of the films, and that's Peeves the Poltergeist. Now if you don't know who Peeves is, Peeves is supposed to be this poltergeist who causes trouble and he's friends with Freddy George and he's like the biggest troublemaker there is. Now he wasn't actually put into the films and a lot of people were quite upset about that and I kind of am now as well. Like I didn't read the books when I was younger, I've started to go through them now um, after my obsession and I've kind of known who Peeves was all the time. So let me tell you a little story here. So an actor uh, known as Rick Mayall. Now, you may have heard of him, you may not. He was actually the main actor from Drop Dead Fred, which is an amazing film. Honestly, it's so freaking funny. I remember it as a kid, love it, it's great. He was actually cast to play in Harry Potter, the very first one, as Peeves the Poltergeist. Now, when he went on to set, what happened was, when he was doing his bits, the children just kept laughing so they were trying different shots and he just kept laughing they asked him to turn around and he kept laughing and it was just a repeat of the cycle so after the footage had been shot of what they could get he went home and he got paid for it and everything like that however three months later he got a message saying he's been cut out of the film completely and you know and it's, it's quite sad because he would make an awesome awesome peeves because he is so funny but unfortunately that's what happened if he had been kept on we would have had peeves throughout the whole films and it would have just been great it would have been totally great however however he wasn't um, that one upsets me that one really does but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit different than our usual kind of videos um, but I'm hoping to do some more Harry Potter stuff. I'm thinking I might start doing a theory. 
like on a Friday at the end of the month. Like every Friday at the end of the month, doing like a theory kind of thing with Harry Potter. I don't know, let me know what you think. And we can discuss theories that are going around, whether they're true, whether they're not, etc. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving this video a like so I know whether to make more or not. And comment down below if you want. And let me know your opinions and any other facts that you know that I don't know. I'm always interested to hear them. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. Bye.